entombed in ash for more than 1,900 years. The tragic story behind this haunting image of what appears to be a child resting on its terrified mother's stomach is a step closer to being revealed. Restorers are working on the carefully preserved plaster casts of 86 of the Romans trapped in Pompeii in 79 AD following the deadly eruption of Mount Vesuvius, including a child seemingly frozen in terror. It is thought the boy was four, based on his size and was sheltering in a location dubbed House of the Golden Bracelet with his family, when tragedy struck. He was discovered alongside an adult male and female, presumed to be his parents, as well as a younger child who appeared to be asleep on his mother's lap. The little boy's clothing is visible in the plaster cast, and his facial expression is one of peace, decoded past reported. Stefania Judici, a conservator from Naples National Archaeological Museum, told journalist Netash's Sheldon, it can be very moving handling these remains when we apply the plaster. Even though it happened 2,000 years ago, it could be a boy, a mother or a family. It's human archaeology, not just archaeology. Experts at the Pompeii archaeological site are readying the poignant remains for a forthcoming exhibition called Pompeii and Europe. The people's poses reveal how they died some trapped in buildings and others sheltering with family members. In one haunting image, Stefano Von Accori, director of the laboratory can be seen carrying the remains of the tiny child in his arms who was imprisoned in ash when the volcano erupted on 24 August. Another plaster cast of an adult reveals he raised his hands above his head in a protective gesture, seemingly in a bid to stave off death. Pompeii was a large Roman town in the Italian region of Campania. Mount Vesuvius unleashed its power by spewing ash hundreds of feet into the air for 18 hours, which fell onto the doomed town, choking residents and covering buildings. But the deadly disaster occurred the next morning, when the volcano's cone collapsed, causing an avalanche of mud traveling at 160 km per hour to flood Pompeii destroying everything in its path and covering the town so that all but the tallest buildings were buried. People were buried too in the ash, which hardened to form a porous shell, meaning that the soft tissues of the bodies decayed, leaving the skeleton in a void. Reports claim 2,000 people died, and the location was abandoned until it was rediscovered in 1748. Many of the buildings Artifacts and skeletons were found intact under a layer of debris. It is now classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and more than 2.5 million tourists visit each year. In November, French and Italian archaeologists excavating areas of the ancient town found raw clay vases that appear to have been dropped by Roman potters fleeing the disaster. The perfectly preserved settlement was discovered by accident in the 18th century, buried under 30 feet. 9 meters, of ash. Excavators were amazed to find human remains inside voids of the ash and soon worked out how to create casts of the people to capture a moment frozen in time. Archaeologists poured plaster inside to capture the positions the people were in when they died, trapping their skeletons inside the plaster before removing the cast from the hole a couple of days later. The technique means it's possible to see the anguished and pained expressions of men women and children who all perished as well as details such hairstyles and clothes. Creating casts is an exact science, because the plaster must be thin enough to show details of the person, but thick enough to support the remains, the BBC reported. Approximately 1,150 bodies have been discovered so far although a third of the city has yet to be excavated. The majority of plaster casts were made in mid-19th century, meaning that some have degenerated and need repairing, offering experts a glimpse inside them. In all, only around 100 of the voids have been captured in plaster, to reveal people's poses as well as writhing pet dogs. For example, it is estimated that anywhere between 10,000 and 25,000 residents of Pompeii and nearby Herculaneum were killed on the spot.